I have created a, a software that is, uh, that is developed specifically to uh, uh, upload programs on multiple robots. And actually we call it sw Swarm of Robots. And the software is actually built using a, the IDE called Eclipse. The software is called, like I said, Eclipse. It's actually a software you, you can create your own, uh, what we call it, Java files. So it's actually a Java uh, source code. So this is actually the interface of the, the program. When we get to this screen, uh, we can see three tasks specifically designed or programmed for uh, these kind of robots. And these tasks are the area mapping, human rescue, and painting a wall. This is one example of the robots that will be connected to the laptop in order to upload the uh, program. After that process is complete, he can detach the robot and just put it on the ground. After uploading the, uh, the uh, program to, the, to each one of the robots, uh, the computer will have access to the one of the robots camera since not all the robots are equipped with a camera because this is actually what we call it a heterogeneous robotic system uh, robotic agents uh, this specific robot has a camera the camera searches for a specific uh, pattern using some uh, algorithm that I have de developed uh, it detects the human prototype and it sends a request to all of the robots to gather next to this robot in order to, to move forward and grip or grip the, the human uh, prototype. The robot that has detected the object will use this XB module. Uh, it's actually a communication module that uses uh, a, a wireless communication to communicate with the other robots. The camera uses an algorithm that detects lines on a low distance, on a low height on the ground. As the robots are moving on the ground, they detect objects that, is, that are low with bright lines on them. In this case, it detects this white surface. The laser also, in this case, detects the distance. So that's part of the communication. That's part of the information that has that have to be shared between the robots. In conclusion, we these robots can be used in disaster scenarios and for uh, uh, human rescue and uh, like in case of any fire in the building. And also, it also for the other tasks, it also can be they also can be used for uh, a mapping uh, to territory to territories uh, unknown territories in in a remote uh, locations. This is an example of the co all cool stuff that we're doing at the Risk Lab in the Department of uh, uh, Engineering Department at the University of Bridgeport.